All right, well, let us be continue with Dalen the Mage here. Second episode, we find ourselves in the Fade. Uh, he's warned us that we're going to face a demon of some, some strength and cunning. And uh, so, let's check the map. Oh, okay, so we, have, we do have a, a kind of a good map here. I like that map. That looks good. Uh, the journal, does that increase as we're talking here? Conversation history, so you can go back and uh, find out all the things that were said, which is good. Um, let us see. Let's close that. Skills, no. Spells and talents, no. Oh, I need to go back to the journal. And we're going to go to the codex, which is where? Where's the codex? Oh, codex. Because, is it here? Lyrium. More than half the wealth of Orzium, Ozamar, comes from a single extremely rare substance, Lyrium. The Chantry believes it to be the water of the Fade, mentioned in the canticle of Therendo, Therendis, the very stuff of creation itself, from whence the Maker fashioned the world. Only a handful of mining cast families hazard extracting the ore, finding veins in the stone quite literally by ear. For, it's, for in its raw form, Lyrium sings, and the discerning can hear the sound even through solid rock. Even though dwarves have a natural resistance, raw Lyrium is dangerous for all but the most experienced of the mining cast to handle. Even for dwarves, exposure to the un unprocessed mineral can cause deafness or memory loss. For humans and elves, direct contact with Lyrium ore produces nausea, blistering of the skin, and dementia. Mages can't even approach unprocessed lyrium. Doing so is an invariably fatal. Ooh, good lord. I probably shouldn't be standing here then, right next to a hole. This is a bunch of stuff here. I've been getting more serious about getting my druid healer geared up, and that pertains to the fashion. I completely understand. Making files a little tougher. She's an alchemist, but the unique feature they added to the profession sometimes your creation will blow up. And you won't be able to make anything experimental for three hours. Wow, okay. Despite its dangers, lyrium is the single most valuable mineral currently known. In the Tevinter Imperium, it has been known to command a higher price than diamond. Wow, the dwarves sell very little of the processed mi mineral to the surface, giving the greater portion of what they mine to their own smiths, who use it in forging of all truly superior dwarven weapons and armor. What, once, what processed lyrium is sold on the surface goes only to the Chantry, who strictly control the supply. From the Chantry, it is dispersed both to the Templars, who make use of it in tracking and fighting Malthicarium, Mouth and to the Circle. In the hands of the Circle, lyrium reaches its fullest potential. Uh, there... For Mari craftsmen, transform it into an array of useful items for, from the practical, such as magically hardened stone for construction, to the legendary silver armor of King Kalanhad. When mixed into liquid and ingested, lyrium allows mages to enter the Fade fully aware, unlike all others who reach it only while dreaming. Such potions can be used to aid in the casting of especially taxing spells for a short time, granting a mage far greater power than he normally wields. Larium has its costs, however. Prolonged use becomes addictive, the craving unbearable. Over time, Templars grow disoriented, incapable of distinguishing memory from present or dream from waking. They frequently become paranoid as their worst memories and nightmares haunt their waking hours. Mages have additionally been known to suffer physical mutation. The Magister Lords of the Taventer Imperium were widely reputed to having been so affected by their years of Lyrium use that they could not be recognized by their own kin, nor even as creatures that had once been human. Wow, okay. So yeah, should not be standing next to this big pile of Lyrium then. <laughs> I didn't pick any up, did I? No. I don't think so. Yeah, probably, prob Mouse probably could have said something about that. Oh, there's a wisp over there. We know what to do with wisps. Our 
Winter's Grasp does quite the job on him. There's another one up there, right? There is. Hey, man, he, he can hit me from a, a ways. Oh, who's this? Hello. Did I get him? Yeah, I was going to say. Hello? Another spirit this way. It never seemed equal to its name to me. Oh. Hello? Another mortal thrown into the flames and left to burn, I see. Your mages have devised a cowardly test. Hmm. Better you were pitted against each other to prove your mettle with skill than to be sent unarmed against a demon. Uh, you know, oh, you know why I'm here then? You are not the first sent here for such testing, nor shall you be the last, I suspect. That you remain means you have not yet defeated your hunter. I wish you a glorious battle to come. Okay. Um, what else do you know about the harrowing? Yeah. Is that what your test is called? I know little of your mortal ways. I do know that a demon has been called, and told that a meal awaits. <laughs> it will not, cannot leave until one of you is dead. Oh, okay. Uh, what kind of spirit are you? Yeah. I am Balor, a warrior spirit. I hone my weapons in search of the perfect expression of combat. Oh. Did you create all of these weapons? They are brought into being by my will. I understand that in your world, mages are the only ones who can will things into being. Those mortals who cannot must lead such hollow empty lives well yeah they can't, everybody can't be a demon or demon a mage like me you see uh would one of those weapons affect the demon yeah without a doubt in this realm everything that exists is the expression of a thought do you think these blades be steel the staves be wood do you believe they draw blood a weapon is a single need for battle and my will makes that need reality. Do you truly desire one of my weapons? I will give one to you, if you agree to duel me first. Oh. Valor shall test your metal as it should be tested. Uh, yeah, I'm not a warrior, sir. I, I would be no match against you. All right, I wonder if, um... Oh, it seems you would prefer to kill me yourself. Uh, what are the rules of this duel? If I believe you capable of slaying the demon, I will stop the duel and give you the star. If I find you unworthy, I will slay you. Wow. I trust those rules are simple enough to remember, mortal. Yeah, simple enough. Um, it seems you prefer to kill me yourself. How dare you accuse me? I am no demon preying upon helpless mortals to steal their essence. I am a being of honor and valor. I am a warrior. Hmm. Ooh, I wonder if I could get him to help me. Uh, then prove it. Help me fight the demon. You are insolent. But your will is unquestionably strong. Very well, mortal. You prove to me that you possess the strength to resist this demon. Wow, okay. <laughs> Go. Prove your worth as you must. I am confident you will succeed. Will he give me a staff? Uh, new screenshot. Item received. I did get something. Ooh, I did. I got Valor's staff. Two-handed damage for armor penetration 20, range 50, and spell power 1. Ooh, sweet. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Take a look at whoop, take a look at that. that. Looks pretty good, yeah. Alright, mouse, we're going. Perfect. 
Okay, uh, map. Yep, we're going the right way. What's this up here? Oh, another vase of healing. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. I'll take that. Twisted structure. Okay. Well, that worked out. That worked out rather well. We did. Oh, hello. Another one. Oh. Well, I don't. Oh, jeez. Ah. Yeah, I don't. I don't like the hurt dog sounds. Anything else? No? Yeah, I don't think so. You do get that mana back pretty quickly though. Be cautious. There is another spirit here. Not the one hunting you, but still. What? Really? Okay. A sloth demon. Okay. Like you do. A slot demon up here. The game, the game saved us right before that we talked to the slot demon. Was this a bear? Oh, it is a bear. So, you are the mortal being hunted. And the small one, is he to be a snack for me? I don't like this. He's not going to help us. We should go. No matter. The demon will get you eventually. And perhaps there will even be scraps left. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, yeah, what do you know about the demon? <laughs> I know that you will fail your test. And he will eat you. Wow, okay. Gone. Surely you have better things to do than bother sloth, mortal. Oh, I tire of you already. Wow, okay. Uh, why are you called sloth? What are you? I am a spirit of sloth. Yeah. <laughs> of the fade. Unlike yourself, mortals are ever the visitors here. So you serve your function. Only the mortals like yourself are truly annoying. <laughs> Sorry about that. And I appreciate being called annoying. No, a uh, mortal like myself. You are aware. A mortal with power and will. The sort of creature that some spirits hunger for. I might be inclined for such a meal myself. It would be interesting to see the mortal world through your eyes live inside your form. But I am disinclined to begin such a struggle. <laughs> so you're a demon? As you mortals might term it. But not all demons are demons. Worry about the one hunting you. Well, I need help defeating a demon. You have a very nice staff. Why do you need me? Go. Use your weapon since you have earned it. Be valorous. Hmm. He looks powerful. It might be possible that he could teach you to be like him. Like me? You mean teach the mortal to take this form? <laughs> Why? Most mortals are too attached to their forms to learn the change. You, on the other hand, little one, might be a better student. You let go of the human form years ago. I don't think I'd make a very good bear. How would I hide? <laughs> uh, hiding doesn't solve anything. You, you, we need to face our fears. That's true. We? I have faced more in this place than you can imagine. 
Fear is just one more thing. But you are right. Hiding doesn't help. I'm sorry, it's the Fade. It changes you. I'll try. I'll try to be a bear. If you'll teach me. That's nice. But teaching is so exhausting. <laughs> Away with you now. Mm. I told you he wasn't going to help us. Uh, Mouse wants to learn. Teach him. You wish to learn my form, little one? Then I have a challenge for your friend. Answer three riddles correctly, and I will teach you. Fail, and I will devour you both. Wow, okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's accept your challenge, Slap. Truly? Oh. Well, this gets more and more promising. My first riddle is this. I have seas with no water, coasts with no sand, towns without people, mountains without land. What am I? Desert, a boat, the moon... A map, an idea, a dream. It's a map, right? Say a map. Ha mm. <laughs> <laughs> ha! Correct. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's move on. Okay. The second riddle. I'm rarely touched, but often held. If you have wit. You'll use me well. What am I? And the tongue. I'm going to say the tongue. My temper. My breath. Intelligence. Rarely touched, but often held. Hold your tongue. Yeah, if you have wit, you use me well, right? Yeah, tongue. Yes, you're witty. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Yep, yep, yep. One more try, shall we? Yes, Often okay, come on. I spin the tail, never will I charge a fee. I'll amuse you an entire eve. But, alas, you won't remember me. What am I? That's a dream. Is there a dream in there? Yep. Annoying Riddler, a liar. Are you music? A book. It could be either a book or a dream. I'm going to say a dream. Mm. Ah! You are correct. I did it. Rather, apropos here in Fane, no. But you've won my challenge and proven yourself an amusing distraction. So... I shall teach you my form. Now, listen carefully. Like this? Am I a bear? It feels... heavy. <laughs> mm, close enough. Go then, and uh, defeat your demon, or whatever you intend to do. I grow weary of your mortal prattling. Alright, well that worked out well. Now, where do we go? Map. Oh, it looks like back over here. So I can't call him Mouse anymore. What? Oh, do we? Are we just going back to fight the demon now that he can turn into a bear? Okay, good lord. Oh, they're all attacking him. Hey, leave him alone, guys. Got him, next one. Hit him. Why can't I hit him? This Okay, let's heal up. 
Yeah, he did pretty good there. They all attacked him. Scholars wouldn't be the salt at the answer is books. That's true. That's true because they, for, you know, they forget it. I was just like, I, I was thinking that, you know, it was a book because it weaves a tale but charges no fee. Although, I guess buying a book would be the fee, yeah? All right, so is the demon in here? I, I swear to God, I, I think it's Mouse. I think he's the demon I'm going to be facing. And there is a spirit of rage. Where? 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 Oh. This way before. It's strange. Uh, why make a, why make his face a spirit of demon for the heroine? What do you know about, um, yeah. Because they're sadistic bastards, that's why. And I'm not talking about demons. Everyone must face the harrowing because there's a small chance a mage might become possessed and become an abomination. Thrown to the mercy of a demon when you're at your weakest. For the safety of all. Well, I mean, yeah, they teach that the abominations are extremely dangerous. But how many mages have met their fate in tests like this over the centuries? Don't those lives matter as well? It's either that or they turn you into a freak, a tranquil who can't be possessed, but who also can't feel anything, ever. The circle is a prison. You have choices between joining and suffering various deaths of body or spirit. Remember that. Hmm. How have you survived here so long? I missed my chance. So I became small, unnoticeable. I hide from the bigger things, learn from the smaller things. There are places you can hide where the shadows go on forever. You stay there long enough, and the shadows begin to creep inside of you. Okay. I, I don't know how long it's been. Forever, maybe. All right. Uh, tell me more about the creature must face. There are many creatures in the Fade. Some all fire and rage. Some less so. Have you seen anyone defeat a demon before? I don't remember. Uh huh. It's been a long time since I saw anyone else. I think there were others like you before, but when? I don't think everyone who takes the harrowing comes here to this place in the Fade. Or maybe they do, and I've forgotten. Well, where do I find the demon? We already passed the place where I saw it last. It will probably come back there later, if it doesn't find you first. I think, again, I think he's... How does one resist being possessed? You fight it, I think. You kill it. Think of it this way. Everything here is a matter of will, right? I'm not really a mouse. Just like you're not really standing there in that body. You fight the creature. You're resisting it. If it wins, it defeats you and possesses you. Okay. It won't win. Yeah, trust me. Oh, well, good for you. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Let's keep moving. I'm ready if you are. Oh, is that him? Is that the demon? It is the demon. He's yellow. I don't know if that's a bad thing. But, uh, all right, guys. Let's do this. Let's take this guy out. Shall we? Hello, demon. Prepare to meet your doom. Oh, can I not fight him? Hello? And so it comes to me at last. Soon I shall see the land of the living with your eyes, creature. You shall be mine, body and soul. It's two against one, buddy. You really want to fight us both? Amusing. Have you not told it of all arrangement? Mouse? See? 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 We don't have an arrangement. 
Not anymore. Oh. And after all those wonderful meals we have shared, now suddenly the mouse has changed the rules. I'm not a mouse now, and soon I won't have to hide. I don't need to bargain with you. We shall see. Oh, here we go. Up. Uh, all right, here we go. Here we go. All right, and ba bam. Oh, there's more. Okay, frozen. Nice. Got him. Oh man, there's a. You did it. You actually did it. That yeah, was when pretty you easy, came, actually. I hoped that maybe you might be able to, but I never really thought any of you were worthy. Okay. Um. The ones you portrayed before me. What were their names? Yeah. What? They were not as promising as you. Uh huh. It was a long time ago. Oh, was it? Uh, I don't. Okay. I don't even remember my own name. It's the Fade, and the Templars killing me, like they tried with you. Yeah, I, um... Anything to survive, like an animal, or worse, right? I am what the Fade has made me. Am I to blame for that? Deciding to exist or not exist is not a fair choice. I had no hope. You have shown me other possibilities. If you want to help, there may be a way for me to leave here. Yeah, no. 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 <laughs> nice try, buddy. Need to want to let me in. No. Uh, where's the no? Yeah, I'm starting to think the other demon wasn't my test. What? What do you? Of course it was. What else is here that could harm an apprentice of your potential? Yeah, nice try, smooth talker. <laughs> you are a smart one. Simple killing is... Ah, ha, ha! Yep. The real dangers of the Fade are preconceptions. Yep. Careless trust. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. Uh... Mouse? Keep your wits about you, mage. True tests never end. Mouse? Where'd he go? Oh, is that it? That was it. Are you alright? Say something, please. Alright, guys. Great place to end this episode. Wow! We knew it! We knew it. We knew Mouse was, was uh, yeah, he was evil. From the get-go, I had a bad feeling about him following us around. All right. Yeah, that one big mouse, yeah. So, with that, guys, hey, another one down. And we'll be back uh, where we left off here. We'll be back and doing more with uh, Dalen, the mage. We hopefully passed our test. I imagine we did. We killed that one demon, but uh, we'll find out next time. Thank you so much, guys. Until next time, bye-bye.